I can't imagine an RV without a roof vent because they provide so much useful ventilation. But you know, you got to get up on the roof once in a while and check out the lids because they don't last forever. And if you don't want to get up on the roof, if you're a little squeamish about that, just take your rig to the dealer and have your dealer ch take a check. Now, or are you going to find out when it rains for sure? And when it rains, if it leaks, well, I think that that's a good indication. <laughs> yeah. but, but Bill, sometimes these people like go forever. Now, now here's a pretty good example that this has kind of outlived its useful. Yeah, life. this one. Yeah, I mean the sun has just made this yeah, thing I mean, in the powder. It's totally it's, it, it's pretty much toast. Yeah. Fortunately, there are a number of replacement lids on the market because there are different models of roof vents. Now, Bill, there are what, like four different uh, models out yeah, there? Four or five different ones, and they've all got different hinge arrangement. Hinge this right is the here. hinge right here. So you're either going to know what the hinge looks like, or you're going to need to take the old one with you when you go in to get a replacement hinge. Right, and this one's a vent line, so we're going to have to go downstairs, and we're going to have to take some pieces apart before we can start the top. Okay, we have the uh, garnish and the other parts already disassembled downstairs. So, hey, Bill, are we ready to uh, get the slit on? Yeah, and this is this is the easy part here. There's a little bit of a tab here that we just need to straighten right. out. Actually, that tab is right here, and we're gonna have to open this tab just a little bit in order to get it started. Yeah, so it just literally once you get that open, it slides off, and you can see the other one is closed here on the end. It's kind of curled shut. There you go. So we'll open up that tab a little bit. Let me get this one out of the way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one here uh, so that when it goes on, it's already closed. This is the easy part. Taking the inside it part is a little bit tougher. Now that this is slid in, I'm gonna close the other tab. That looks good, Bill. It does. Fits good. I want to make sure it goes up and down easy. Looks good. Okay. All we have to do now is go into the rig and replace the uh, crank assembly and the garnish and screen, and we'll be good to go. We're all setting. Most of all, it's not going to rain on the inside anymore. At least for another five years. <laughs>